It looked like a doorstop, drove like a spaceship, and never made it to production. Before your favorite car ever hits the streets, it probably started as a wild idea. Something completely out there, pushing the limits of design and technology. That's the whole magic of concept cars. To see how far a designer's imagination can stretch. To test out new technology and sometimes just to grab attention. Some of them are sleek and futuristic. Others look like they belong in a sci-fi movie. And most never made it past the auto show floor. But every once in a while, one of these crazy ideas actually shapes the future of cars. However, this whole concept isn't new. Back in 1938, Buick rolled out the Y-Job, often called the first real concept car. It had hidden headlights, power windows, and a design that was out of this world. At the time, those features were unheard of. But today, they're just part of a regular car. That's what concept cars do. They take what seems impossible and turn it into something you might drive one day. Stick around because we're about to reveal how concept cars turn from bold ideas into head-turning showpieces. Let's get into it. Concept cars don't exist just to look cool. Though to be honest, that's a huge part of their appeal. These vehicles are also powerful marketing tools. A jaw-dropping concept car can turn heads at auto shows, get people talking, and keep a brand in the spotlight. Even if it never hits the streets, parts of its design, whether it's the headlights or the interior tech, might end up influencing future models. Some of today's most common car features started as crazy ideas in a concept car that at the time seemed too futuristic to be real. Take the Lincoln Futura 1955. This bubble top masterpiece looked like it had been brought right out of a 1950s sci-fi comic. It had massive tail fins, a split cockpit, and a dramatic spaceship-like silhouette. It was never meant for mass production, but it ended up in a different kind of spotlight. Hollywood. If you've ever watched the classic 1960s Batman TV show, you've seen this car in action. The Futura became the legendary Batmobile, proving that even an abandoned concept car could find a second life. Then there's the Lancia Stratos Zero 1970, which didn't look like a car at all. It looked like a doorstop or a, maybe a spaceship that took a wrong turn and landed on Earth. It was so low to the ground, you didn't open a door to get in. You climbed in through the windshield. While it never became a production car, its influence was undeniable. It paved the way for the Lancia Stratos, one of the most legendary rally cars of all time. Fast forward a few decades, and BMW was out here asking, what if a car didn't even have a solid body? The BMW Gina 2008, a car that looked like it had been skinned alive. Instead of traditional metal panels, its entire body was covered in a flexible, stretchable fabric that could shift and change shape. It was unreal and futuristic. Nothing like it ever made it to production, but it forced people to rethink what a car's exterior could be. And then, of course, there's the Tesla Cybertruck. When it was first unveiled, people thought it was a joke. <laughs> it broke every rule of traditional truck design. But the difference between this and most concept cars, it actually went into production, with a few changes, of course. Whether you love it or hate it, it's proof that sometimes the most radical concepts do make it to the real world. Concept cars have always been about pushing boundaries, breaking rules, and asking the what if question. But how do they go from wild ideas to physical prototypes sitting under the lights of an auto show? Every concept car starts with a purpose, a vision for what it's trying to say or solve. Before a single sketch is drawn, teams of designers, engineers, and strategists spend weeks, sometimes months, researching future trends. That could mean studying new materials, energy sources, autonomous systems, or even shifts in consumer psychology and behavior. Then comes the design brief, the mission statement for the entire project. What will this car represent? 
What kind of technology will it showcase? Will it highlight sustainability, speed, luxury, or something purely artistic? No matter how futuristic the idea, it has to be grounded in a goal. A concept car without intent is just a sculpture, but a concept car with a vision? That's where the future of the industry begins. Once the vision is locked in, designers begin translating the idea into form. That starts with hand-drawn sketches, where anything is possible. Floating fenders, split cockpits, see-through bodies. This is where designers play with wild proportions, dramatic silhouettes, and entirely new ways of interacting with a car. At this stage, the muse matters. One designer might chase fluid lines inspired by a manta ray, while another experiments with the blocky symmetry of brutalist architecture. These sketches serve as raw energy, a spark. A concept may borrow its curves from a dolphin silhouette, like the Mercedes-Benz biome, which was inspired by natural forms and bioengineering. Or it might take design language from aerospace, like the Lamborghini Egoista, modeled after a fighter jet cockpit and built to look like a weapon on wheels. From paper, the ideas move into the digital world. Using software like Autodesk Alias, Blender, or Katia, designers build detailed 3D models. These tools allow them to rotate the car, analyze its surfaces under lighting, and simulate its presence in the real world. Without this tech, many concept cars would be impossible to realize. Digital modeling allows designers to test doors, angles, window geometry, and ergonomic factors before a single physical piece is built. It's where wild ideas get real structure. Before jumping to full size, most studios create a scale model, usually around 1.4 or 1.5 the size of the real thing. This step helps refine the form with more control and less material waste. A scale model allows designers to study the design in physical space, under studio lighting, and understand how shadows, reflections, and proportions behave, something that's hard to grasp on a screen. Changes are easier to make at this stage, and the smaller size allows for faster iterations, especially when experimenting with different design directions. Once the design is locked, it's time to bring it into the real world, full size. The first step in building a life-size clay model is actually a digital one. The 3D design file is sent to a 5-axis CNC milling machine, which carves out the rough shape of the vehicle using industrial-grade modeling clay layered over a foam or metal core. This robotic precision ensures perfect symmetry and saves weeks of manual labor. But the machine only gets you so far. Once the CNC finishes its job, professional sculptors step in. Using handheld tools, they refine every surface, edge, and curve with extracting care. They smooth transitions between panels, reshape lines to better catch the light, and adjust proportions to make the car look fast even while sitting still. Once the surface is perfected, the clay is polished using alcohol, mesh, and brushes and often covered with a thin film to simulate a glossy automotive finish. This lets the design team study how light reflects across the body and evaluate the visual flow of the car in a physical environment. But making a concept car isn't just about how it looks, it's also about how it performs. That's where aerodynamic testing comes in. Designers and engineers analyze how air flows around the shape using either wind tunnels or computational fluid dynamic simulations. Even at this early stage, the car is tested for efficiency, drag, and airflow patterns. If the numbers don't work, it's back to clay. Panels are reshaped, vents are adjusted, and sometimes the entire rear or front end is reworked over a dozen times. One wrong curve can throw off performance, and one right one can make it an icon. While the exterior is being sculpted and refined, another team, often working in a separate part of the design studio, is dreaming up the interior. This space isn't just about buttons and seats, it's about creating an entire atmosphere. A concept car's interior is designed to transport you into the future the moment you open the door. Unlike production interiors, which prioritize practicality, safety, and regulations, Concept interiors are 
pure imagination. This is where designers experiment with materials you've probably never seen in a car. Carbon fiber, titanium, transparent acrylics, sculpted glass, even plant-based composites and algae-derived foams. Some interiors take inspiration from nature, like cocooning butterfly wings or ocean waves. Others borrow from sci-fi movies or high-end architecture. Mood lighting, floating seats, and organic shapes are common themes. The BMW i Vision Circular, for example, use only recycled and recyclable materials, proving that luxury doesn't have to be wasteful. Meanwhile, the Mercedes-Benz Vision AVTR featured a flowing wooden dashboard and seats wrapped in vegan leather with biometrics that responded to the driver's heartbeat and breathing. And then there are the truly radical visions. No steering wheels, because some designers imagine a self-driving world. Swiveling front seats, like in the Audi AIME, turning your car into a lounge. Modular cabin layouts, like the Chrysler Portal, with sliding seats and panoramic touchscreens. Even the dashboard gets reimagined, no more dials or buttons. Instead, you'll see curved OLED displays, gesture controls, and sometimes holographic interfaces that project floating visuals in midair. While none of this may ever make it to your daily driver, it's not supposed to. At this stage, the interior is built to impress, to spark ideas, and to show off what's possible. It's an experience, not a checklist. Once the look, layout, and materials are finalized, these imaginative concepts are translated into a physical interior prototype. That can mean custom 3D printing for console parts, sculpting full-scale seating bucks, or hand-fabricating elements to match the exact vision. The result? A cabin that feels less like a car and more like stepping inside the future. Not all concept cars are created equal. Some are drivable prototypes with functional powertrains, while others are nothing more than beautifully crafted shells, meant to sit on a showroom floor. The decision depends on the purpose of the concept. Unlike mass-produced cars, which roll off assembly lines by the thousands, concept cars are usually built by hand. Every curve, panel, and light strip is carefully crafted with engineers working closely with designers to ensure the final product stays true to the original vision. By the time the prototype is finished, it's either a fully operational machine or a sculpted masterpiece with no moving parts. Either way, it's ready for its moment in the spotlight. But a concept car isn't just about looking good, it needs to leave an impression. The right paint job can make a car look aggressive, elegant, or straight up otherworldly. Some get deep, mirror-like glass coats, while others go for matte finishes that absorb light in just the right way. Then there are the bold choices, color-shifting paints, liquid metal effects, or even materials that glow under certain lighting. But more than the color, every little detail matters. Logos, patterns, and branding elements are added with airbrushing, laser etching, or precision printing. Some concept cars even have unique textures built into the paint, giving them an extra layer of depth when you run your hand across the surface. After the painting is done, then comes the final stretch. If the concept car is drivable, it goes through a round of functional tests. Engineers check if it can roll onto the stage without breaking down, whether the doors and screens function properly, and if the lights and interactive features work as planned. Some high-end concept cars even get brief test drives to prove they're more than just fancy sculptures. The car is then carefully packaged and transported, often in a climate-controlled trailer to avoid a single scratch or smudge. The reveal is a spectacle, dramatic lighting and unveilings, and a crowd eager to see what the future of cars might look like. Most concept cars never hit the streets, some become pop culture icons, while others faded into history as forgotten experiments. But each one of them pushed the boundaries in its own way. They shaped the future of automotive design, influencing everything from the curves of a sports car to the tech inside your daily drive. So what's your favorite concept car of all time? Let us know in the comments.
And if you love learning about the future of cars, be sure to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell for more fascinating content.